Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. What makes your community feel like home? Is it knowing what's happening in your neighborhood or when people know your name? Connections make us a community. For more than 30 years, Northwest Community Television has connected citizens, neighbors, even sports fans through video. As life gets busier than ever, we will still offer you a connected community experience through CCX Media, so you can stay connected to the place you call home. The top-ranked Hopkins girls basketball team collides with second-ranked Wyzetta on Friday night. This will be the first of what could be three meetings between the conference and section rivals, and the Royals are excited for the opportunity. Here's Jason Malone with more. You can't really call it just another regular season game. The Royals and Trojans are conference rivals, section rivals, and ranked 1-2 in Class 4A. Everyone needs to step up, play their hardest game they can. Like This is the biggest game we've had this whole year, their toughest opponent on our schedule. Um, everyone has to step up, be ready for the competition. Both teams can spread the scoring around and play lockdown defense. The key to a Hopkins win could be negating Wyzetta's size advantage. They're huge. I mean, we're going to have to defend and, and keep them off the boards. Don't give them second opportunities. If we can't do that, we're in trouble. Speed, um, push the ball, get up in them on defense, transition really fast. Just play fast. This game will also have big postseason implications. If Hopkins can beat Wyzetta twice in the regular season, the Royals will likely get home court advantage throughout the section tournament. This is the first time in my 20 years that we've ever had a situation like this where, you know, number one seed gets home court advantage throughout. Um, we've always played at neutral. And so this is my first experience at it, and it makes it kind of interesting in terms of who's going to get what. It should be a great atmosphere at the Lindbergh Center on Friday night as two of the best girls basketball teams in the state go head-to-head. -head. Jason Malillo, CCX Sports. Thanks, Jason. Jay Wilcox will have a story on the Wyzetta girls Thursday starting at 4 here on CCX News. Friday's game is part of a varsity doubleheader. The Trojans and Royals boys team play at 5.30 p.m., followed by Wyzetta and Hopkins girls at 7.15. One of the scheduling casualties to this week's cold weather was a great boys basketball matchup that was to have been played Tuesday night. Breck ranked sixth in Class 2A, was slated to host 2A's number one team, Minnehaha Academy. Breck is 14-3 and this winter and on a four-game winning streak. They've won 10 of their past 11 contests. Breck will face Minnehaha twice this season in the IMAC conference. It's safe to say they circle those games on the schedule. I'm really excited to play against Minnehaha. It's, uh, it'll be a good chance for us to win conference. You know, we just have to get one of those games. And uh, I'm excited to play them. They're a really good team. And I think uh, it should be a really fun game. We're very excited. We always love playing Minnehaha because everyone comes out and it's always a good challenge, you know, because they're, I think they're first in the state right now. We want to try and knock them off. So that's always, it's always a fun game. Well, so it's going to be fun. Um, our kids always get up for it. Um, it's, it's, it's usually a, a good game. And, um, you know, like I said, we'll hope to see uh, if my kids grew up a little bit more this year. Breck Activities Director Brett Burgundy tells us that Tuesday's post poll game will likely be rescheduled for March 2nd at Breck. The first meeting between the teams is scheduled for February 12th at Minnehaha Academy. For most teams in our area, the regular season in girls hockey ends this Saturday. Section tournament play gets underway late next week. Saturday afternoon on CCX, tune in for live coverage of a Northwest Suburban Conference game between Osseo Park Center and Northwest Suburban Conference West Division leading Champlain Park Coon Rapids. It's a 3 p.m. 